I'll be inviting as we are short of distance between iftar and now, so I'll be using this uh, at a most creative pace. I'll be inviting uh, another uh, founder member and um, uh, one, of, uh, one of the key um, office holders at World Congress of Overseas Pakistanis, Dr. Sohail Chukfai, who is president of uh, uh, World Congress of Overseas Pakistanis UK, to briefly uh, welcome and at the same time share uh, the heart and um, the core spirit of World Congress of Overseas Pakistanis and what our journey has been about in the last four years' time. So, a big round of applause, Dr. Swell Chukvai, President of World Congress of Overseas Pakistanis, United Kingdom. Thank you very much. I, Asalaamu Alaikum to everybody. Uh, it's really a pleasure to see you all at this time. People don't come out in Ramadan, but they've been today for the cause of what we're doing here. I really want to appreciate all of you and you are the people who inspire us. Thank you. We have the privilege of our Pakistani High Commissioner, His Excellency Sayyid Ibn Abbas here. And I must tell something about, I must share that feeling that he has been the inspiring force for World Congress Overseas Pakistanis. Uh, and the prompt response from people is a proof that you have been uh, Hi, Commissioner. You, you have been uh, support to us. We have called you at very short notices. You've been responding to us. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm thankful to all the honorable guests on behalf of uh, World Congress Overseas Pakistanis. And I want to quote what General Naveed Anjum said, that a, a soldier knows the pain of war. He knows what is lost and won. That's a great pretext, great food for thought. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, we also heard from Colonel Shami saying that peace with honor. What a brilliant statement that is. The word peace alone should not be said for a soldier. Peace with honor is what we should say. Thank you very much for saying that today. Uh, we heard Colonel Azam Qadri about the books. I'm going to pick one, one of the books and read. I think I'm inspired to know about the history. I, I must tell my kids to read those books. And thank you for coming and sharing all the thoughts and energy behind that. Thank you very much. Uh, World Congress Overseas Pakistanis, I'll be brief here today because we want to leave time for the High Commissioner. The World Congress Overseas Pakistanis mission can be summed up in two words. It's engagement and empowerment. And the engagement is not only within, like today you're sitting and talking to each other and we are providing opportunities for you to come and meet each other, but engagement from outside as well. We had events where we called Theresa May the Home Minister. We had events we called uh, Deputy, High uh, Deputy Prime Minister of the country. And we want to showcase the talent of our nation living here, the diaspora who are British and Pakistani together. They, are, they want to be showcased. So we did those events where we want to engage from outside as well. And the empowerment, we want to point the talent, point the light to the talent. We want to spotlight where people are. There's a lot to be said, but I just want to say that we sleep in peace because our army is awake, and I really want a loud applause for Pakistani army today. <laughs> this can go forever, but thank you very much, and I really appreciate you joining in today. Thank you.